Dragons have only managed to collect three points from their last six league matches and you have to go back to November for their last win on the road. That was away to Glasgow. But they beat Scarlets at home in September and were looking for their first double over their Welsh rivals since the 07-08 season. The home side had plenty to play for coming into this game, knowing that two points would be enough to secure sixth place and European qualification for next term. Simon Easterby's men had won four in a row at home in the Rabo Direct Pro 12, unbeaten at Parky Scarlets in 2014. It took 11 minutes before the first score came. Chris Burton had missed an earlier opportunity, but with this one, he put Dragons 3-0 ahead. But the home side did eventually get a foothold in the game, and as they pressed the Dragons, it was big Jake Ball who picked and dived for the line before stretching to just about get the touchdown. The Beards' first score of the season. Referee Leighton Hodges opted to go to the TMO for confirmation on the score, and it was deemed to be a good try. When Rhys Priestland converted, Scarlets were 7-3 ahead in the 16th minute. Priestland added a penalty on 24 minutes for 10-3 before the most prolific try scorer in the league, Gareth Davies, ran in for a fine score. Davies' 10th try of a tremendous season for him. He really is lethal from close range. Priestland converted for a 17 points to 3 lead. Just past the half hour mark, Scarlets went into overdrive with a brilliant score. The move started inside their own half. Great speed, precise passing and excellent support play before sending winger Jordan Williams away for a lovely score and one that put clear daylight between the men in red and Dragons. This was champagne rugby from Simon Easterby's men and the home crowd were enjoying the fizz. Once more, Priestland converted and it was 24-3 with Scarlets in cruise mode. But a minute before the break, Burton tagged on another penalty for 24-6 and in the 40th minute, the visitors showed that it wasn't just the home side that could produce lovely tries. Burton and Pat Leach combining before passing to Tom Pridey who celebrated his new three-year contract with a fantastic score. An excellent try converted by Burton to leave at Scarlet's 24, Dragons 13 at the half-time break. And two minutes after the restart, Burton kicked to make it 24-16. But on 47 minutes, Scarlet settled the nerves when hooker Ken Owens got over for a try. That's three in as many games for the man from Carmarthen. It was converted by Priestland for a 31 points to 16 lead. And the news for Dragons didn't get any better two minutes later when T. Reese Thomas was yellow carded for this. Like a dog with the bone, he wouldn't let go and it meant 10 minutes in the doghouse for him. But Dragons refused to lie down and they were back breathing fire soon after. Leach, having cleared from inside the 22, was quickly up to support Will Harries and the centre produced the deftest of kicks with the outside of his boot for Pridey to run onto. The man from Bridge End in for a 59th minute try, his second of the game. And Jason Tovey converted for 31 points to 23. In a highly entertaining Welsh derby, Priestland added a last penalty to leave 11 points between the sides at the end. Keith Lemon and the rest of the Scarlets fans delighted that their team got the job done with this bonus point victory, confirming their place in European competition next season. But Dragons showed glimpses of some of the potential they'll be hoping to build on. Final score, Scarlets 34, Newport Gwent Dragons 23.